Frame's role in the system is being reflected here at the Learning Institute. We're able to bring together service providers, clinicians, researchers, youth, family in one space and they're representing different communities, different contexts from across Canada. Frame plays a really crucial role because we have a network now of over 300 partner organizations and we can harness that and continue to do these things where we bring these people together so that ideas and, and research can come together and really uh, push forward in a meaningful way. Connecting all of these different unique integrated youth service centers together on common values and a common basis to come together at great conferences like this and really talk about, you know, what are our pros, our cons, our struggles, our successes, and realize that across the country we're all working together on the same goal. Because they have this lens of seeing things from a big perspective and being able to form those networks, having agencies that are a little bit more established connecting with other agencies that are just starting or just starting the youth engagement piece and really bringing people together and like establishing mentorship roles even between youth uh, like from agency to agency and and making it um, a, a seamless process for people to connect. Bringing ideas from external sources and directly on the ground, so rather than people in offices who are doing studies, um, this information needs to be coming from the people who are actually accessing the services and, and the people who are directly being impacted by the way that that frame uh, works, really. Let's bring our expertise together, let's be humble and learn with each other, understand that we have limitations, and together we can make this amazing recipe and improve the state of youth mental health across the globe. I think FRAME is doing a really good job of providing education and bringing people together, and I'd like to see that continue. Again, coming from the recreation side, um, FRAME was brought to me through service providers, and FRAME really does fit with what we do. We found our pillar within their vision and their objectives, so um, I think just branching that out to other opportunities and other people that are uh, servicing youth in our, in our communities. I think one thing Frame does really well is listen to youth. They're advocating youth, letting youth speak for themselves and trying to amplify youth's voices. So I think if Frame continues to do that and hopefully people start to listen and the decision makers and funders start to listen and they can have some kind of impact on the larger system. Frame is in a really exciting and specific place in the system because it's really about trying to alleviate that gap that we have between what we know works, or what we think might work, or what we're demonstrating works and putting that into practice. And we know that that sort of knowledge to practice gap is years and years and years. We're closing that gap through efforts of knowledge exchange and connecting and partnering and networking across uh, different sectors and with those that are experts in the community and beyond. Uh, but Frame is really in a unique position to be an intermediary in that space bridging that knowledge gap and building a network of partners who have expertise within themselves. And by network of partners, I really mean all those engaging in system change. So we're talking about service providers, we're talking about researchers, we're talking about scientific experts, we're talking about youth and families, and we're talking about sort of a diversity of voices within those groups. Um, and bringing that together as a network and as a partnership that can close that gap and let us have timely solutions to needs that are currently happening in communities across this country and internationally. And I would say that Frame partners with others to do that. It doesn't do that in isolation, nor should it.